So today we're in the workshop and we're taking a look at the Milwaukee Fastback 2. It's a utility knife. Three really cool things I want to share with you that I like and I think you need to know about. The first is a one-handed single deployment of the blade. There's a switch here and the switch basically just causes the blade to swing almost like a pendulum and then a quick flick of the wrist and the blade opens. Same thing to close it. What I like about it is you might be doing some sort of work. You can reach for the knife, open it, make your cut, close it, and then reholster or put it away without looking. That brings me to the second thing that I really like. The clip, the pocket clip. It's just wire clip right here, and it's a really, really high tension kind of clip, and, and it's long too. And if you notice, it's got a little bit of a cant right here at the end where it cants up. That allows you to just put it right in your pocket and, and not have to worry about looking and fighting for it to get it in and get it out. So, going back to my scenario, you're reaching, you open, make your cut, put it away, and then you can holster your, your knife without having to think about it. That's important in the trades. You need to focus on your task at hand sometimes, but you need your tools. When I wear my tool belt, I know where everything has a place and everything goes in the same place every time. So I reach for it, I know where to reach for it, I get it, I deploy the tool, and then I put the tool away and you don't have to look. That's important. A lot of guys in the trades think that's important. We, we work towards that kind of proficiency. The last thing I like, or the third thing I like about the knife, is this little button right here. It's a quick release, toolless release for the blade change. It's fast. And I really like that because you can get in and out with the blade. You don't have to get a screwdriver or, or, or whatever to change the blade. The negative to this, though, that you should be aware of is that sometimes, inadvertently, you can release the blade while you're cutting things. I'll give you an example. I was cutting the caulking uh, against a window casing and some clapboards with the clapboards butt into the window casing. I was cutting the clapboard, caulking, the caulking between the two off so I could remove the casing without damaging the clapboard. When I was on the right side of the casing, this little button rubbed against the casing and came out and was basically dislodged or, or embedded in the caulking and I had to you know, kind of be careful on how I made that cut. When I was on the left side, it didn't matter because this is all smooth. So those are probably the three things that uh, I am uh, really interested in this knife about. Probably the, that pocket clip is really sweet and exceptional. One thing that they've done differently from the earlier models of the Fastback is they added a little storage spot here on the bottom. It's like a little trunk or a little cargo door that opens up and it holds a blade with a, a, a earth, rare earth magnet here that basically holds the blade from falling out. It's brilliant. However, it's not enough blade storage. I'd like to see three blades, four blades stored. I go through knives like crazy through utility blades. What I've done is I've put a second blade on top of this and closed it. It'll work. The problem is when you open it, be prepared. That blade's going to fall out because the earth magnet is not strong enough. The only other two things I'm, I might want to point out to you here is there is a, um, a little notch here for stripping wire sheathing. Electricians absolutely love that. And then there is a kind of a twine or a rope string cutter on the, uh, on the back end of the tool. So real nice knife, you know, easy deployment, easy put away, easy carry. For under 25 bucks, it's a no-brainer. I'm Rob Robillard. See you at the next review. Take care.